Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to serve and host multiple websites from a single Apache server. So in the previous video we uh, set up a LAMP stack, Linux, Apache, uh, MySQL, PHP and uh, you know we're focusing on the Apache part this time. So last time how we accessed uh, the web page that we did was an IP address. We're going to fix that today, change it with a quick and easy way to do that. Uh, meaning not DNS. So we're going to do that and we're going to make it so we can serve multiple sites. And those sites can be independent of one another and, and all kinds of, there's all kinds of possibilities from that point. So let's get into the CentOS virtual machine I got here and make some configurations. So where we need to go is we need to go to the uh, Apache configuration file. All right. And here you see there's a thousand lines. There's a heck of a lot you can do. Uh, and the virtual hosts that we're going to insert here, they're at the bottom. So you can search section 3, and that's where it is, the virtual hosts here. So what's nice about these uh, configuration files is that there's a lot of comments and notes and stuff. And take your time and read through these things. Uh, they even point you to the Apache documentation, which is also very good too. So you can go through those things and they also have configuration examples so name virtual host that's one thing we're gonna do and then this virtual host container well, we're gonna do that too okay so in your practice you can just uncomment these things make your changes to say this virtual host copy and paste and you're good but uh, in my case what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda do things anew and I already did some just to save a little bit of time so uh, there's no difference. I mean, uncommenting or writing it again, it's the same exact thing. So I would really just uncomment the stuff and make the changes. But here you can see, you know, if you make a mistake or something, you can look at the examples and say, okay, well, I forgot that or I didn't do that. One uh, possible benefit of having it here. So let me just uh, get to my insert mode there. All right. So up here it says below is my config. All right. So first thing we have to do for the name virtual host is say that you want the named virtual hosts so not uh, IP addresses so that's what you're doing here and 80 that's port 80 you're listening on the next thing is a virtual host container okay and uh, just copied from the virtual host uh, example there server admin that's your email document root that's where your files for that website are going to be server name is the name of your website there Server alias is a DNS thing, so uh, don't worry about it at this point. I just put it in there for like future reference. Uh, error log and custom log, these are where your log files are going to go. So that is, uh, that's the best practice of what you can, what you can put in the uh, container there. There's also a lot more you can do, but there's, that's a little bit more advanced. Okay, but let's say that you wanted to do quick and easy just to get some basic practice. Well, server admin, not necessarily needed. Document root, definitely needed. And I'm just going to call this next one local wiki. You see, I don't have a .com or anything on the end of that. And uh, as long as we set it up fine, it's going to be fine. Server name, local wiki. Okay alias logs we don't need to do like I said if you're doing this for an actual production environment or just you know even just to get some better practice and uh, you know not uh, shortcutting things I would just put in all of these things just type these things out again and again you'll get that muscle memory but uh, to save a little bit of time in the video I'm not gonna do that so uh, if you're looking do the company queue virtual host configuration not the local wiki that I just did there Okay, but they will both work. So let's uh, just exit out, save it. Now what we need to do is we need to reload that configuration. So service, httpd, reload. You can also do restart, but reload will not shut it off. It will just re-read this uh, configuration file. So we're going to do that. It doesn't show you if it did it right or it did it wrong, but uh, we should find out soon enough. Okay. And we are already in that var www.html. Let's do an ls. I already did a company queue with an index page for that. Let's make a directory for local wiki. So make dir 
local wiki and let's get into that directory and let's just do a quick index.html file. This is the local wiki. Right? Lo uh. okay, just so we can be sure that's what it is. Okay, at this point, we're pretty much done with the Apache configuration. We've reloaded it and we've made some files and some directories for that. At this point, we're done with the server part of this, uh, of this configuration. But remember, we're not connecting on the server. We're not doing like a local host or anything. We're going to connect through the IP address. Now, like I said in the beginning, we want to connect through a name instead of an IP address. Two ways you can do it. DNS, which, you know, whole careers are like DNS server uh, operators and administrators, things like that. Another way you can do it is just add a line to Etsy hosts. So every every computer that wanted to connect to this website would have to have either the DNS setup or these Etsy these changes in the Etsy hosts file. Okay, so uh, we're just going to do the Etsy hosts. Okay, and you can see I already did it. So if you uh, just match up the IP addresses there, 192.168.122.73. So local wiki is one, and company Q is another. Okay. So we're just going to quit that out. And now let's go and test these things out. All right. So HTTP colon slash slash. Then we're going to go to, let's go to local wiki first. All right. No dot com or anything, but this is the local wiki. That's your local wiki. OK, that's your website. Now let's go to the separate one. You know, you could even be hosting, like, I mean, as a service provider for people with this kind of stuff. And let's go to companyq.com. And hold on. What is the problem here? Well, give me a second. Uh, that's the problem with some of these new things that it, it either searches for you or it appends things. I don't want WW in front of it, so. Okay, there it is. So that's just some one thing to be aware of that uh, you might get a couple hiccups here and there about how uh, how you type it in. Like with, for example, local wiki. If I just typed local wiki, it would do a Google search for local wiki. So just be aware of that. But the point is, you can see that this works here. Company Q. That's the uh, page, and. local wiki right there okay so these are the two separate websites we're getting to them with names instead of the IP address and these are on the same server okay so there's a lot of expansion you can do and tweaking and all that kind of stuff and uh, we will save that for future videos and uh, that's all I had for you today